Japan, the land of the rising sun, offers immense opportunities for businesses looking to expand their presence in Asia. But with its unique cultural nuances and distinct consumer behavior, navigating the Japanese market requires a tailored approach, especially when it comes to social media marketing. In this video, we'll explore how foreign companies can effectively use social media to break into the Japanese market. We will cover the most popular platforms and the strategies that work best. I am Juan Pablo, founder of Cross Digital, your entrance to the Japanese digital market and overall online marketing. Let's dive right into it. First, let's talk about the social media landscape in Japan. In 2024, Japan boasts over 100 million active social media users out of a population of 122 million. That's a significant reach. However, what sets Japan apart from other markets is how people here use social media. Privacy, trust and brand loyalty play major roles in shaping consumer behavior. Understanding these aspects is crucial if you want to make an impact. So where should you start? Let's begin with LINE. With over 92 million active users, LINE is Japan's most dominant platform. At its core, LINE is a messaging app, similar to WhatsApp, but it's much more than that. LINE offers services like LINE Pay, LINE News, and LINE Shopping, making it an essential part of daily life in Japan. For businesses, LINE provides an opportunity to engage directly with users through brand accounts. This direct communication is highly valued in Japan, and if your business relies on regular interaction with your audience, LINE should be a key component of your strategy. However, if you're focusing more on conversion rather than brand awareness, LINE might not be the best fit as users mainly use it for communication. Next up, we have X. Formerly known as Twitter, with 45 million active users, X is highly popular in Japan for real-time information, reaction, and news updates. What makes X unique in Japan is the importance of anonymity. Japanese users tend to be more reserved in their online interaction, and X allows them to engage without the fear of standing out or being judged. This platform is ideal for brands that want to engage with their audience through time-limited promotion or conversations. However, success on X requires a deep understanding of Japanese humor, trends, and cultural subtleties. Sorry for my French. It's not just about creating content, it's about creating the right content that resonates with your audience. So many planes flying around, it's crazy. Moving on to Instagram, the visually striking social media platform with 33 million active users in Japan. If your target audience is in their 20s or 30s, Instagram is a must. Visual content, influencer marketing, and video content are all highly effective on this platform. Influencer marketing in particular is strong in Japan, where trust in users is often more impactful than traditional ads. Partnering with the right influencers can significantly boost your brand's credibility and awareness. Keep in mind that Instagram is also pushing hard to compete with TikTok in the short video space, so incorporating Reels into your strategy is crucial for success. And speaking of TikTok, let's take a closer look at this platform. With 17 million active users in Japan, TikTok continues to grow in popularity, especially among Gen Z and Gen Alpha, the new one. As a millennial, I feel I'm really getting old. TikTok's short-form video content and viral trends offer unique opportunities for brands to create engaging and shareable content. However, TikTok's success lies in its authenticity. Brands need to stay on top of the latest trend and create a lot of content to fit the algorithm. The challenge isn't just about having the best camera or creative direction. It's about creating enough content and doing so quickly enough to ride the wave of trends. And remember, Japanese TikTok trends can be vastly different from those in other countries, so you need to tailor your content specifically to the Japanese market. And now let's talk about Facebook. Although it's not as popular as it once was, Facebook still has 26 million active users in Japan and remains a vital platform for business professionals. Many companies use Facebook for corporate communication and recruitment, making it relevant for B2B marketing. Oh, and also if your target audience is in the 30, 40s plus age range, Facebook can still be an effective tool. However, organic reach on the platform has diminished significantly, so you'll need to invest in ads through Meta Business to gain visibility. At this point, you might be wondering how to effectively market your brand across these platforms. Let's discuss some strategies that can help you succeed in Japan. First, localized content creation is key. Japanese consumers respond best to content that resonates with their culture and values. While global campaigns can work, localizing your content to fit Japan's unique preferences will give you a competitive edge. This means understanding the local language, humor, and social norms. You can actually see examples of this with brands like McDonald's, Nike with Nike Tokyo, or Baskin Robbins with their Mario themed content for Japanese consumers. Building trust through engagement is another critical strategy. Trust is a cornerstone of Japanese consumer behavior. 
brands need to invest time in building relationships with their audience. This can be achieved through regular interaction, excellent customer support, and providing valuable content that solves real problems. In Japan, trust building is often necessary before any conversion, be a purchase or a subscription. Leveraging influencers is also essential. In Japan, influencer marketing isn't just about popularity. It's about trust and credibility. Japanese consumers trust influencers who are experts in their fields. Your business doesn't need to partner with the largest influencers, but you do need to partner with the most relevant ones. Brands like Uniqlo have successfully done this by collaborating with local fashion influencers. Partnering with the right influencers can help your brand gain legitimacy and reach a broader audience. Data-driven decision-making is another crucial factor for success in Japan. The market here is data-driven and using analytics to track performance is essential. This includes monitoring engagement rates, conversion rates, and the effectiveness of campaigns across different platforms. By analyzing this data, you can make informed decisions and refine your strategies for better results. Another point to consider is the importance of smartphones in Japan. With the majority of social media users accessing platforms through smartphones, ensuring your content is mobile-friendly is non-negotiable. This means optimizing visuals, text, and call-to-action buttons for smaller screens. Additionally, if your target audience is over 50, 60 years old, you might need to create content that can be displayed on older phones. As many seniors in Japan still use regular Japanese phones known as the Keitai. By now, you probably understand that entering the Japanese market requires more than just translating your content into Japanese. It involves a deep understanding of the culture, consumer behavior, and the ever-evolving digital landscape. And in conclusion, by focusing on localized strategies, building trust and leveraging the power of influencers, your brand can strive in Japan's social media landscape. With the right approach, you can not only enter the market, but also establish a lasting presence. Don't forget to subscribe for more content about Japanese marketing or contact us at CrossDigital if you need assistance with digital marketing. Mata kondo!